March 9, 2018, five students came together to travel to the Wedgwood Factories. The Pottery in the Potteries presents the Wedgwood Factory series by five students from Keele University. This is claymation. Duck, get away, that's a vacation. Wanna get paid, who doesn't though? I'ma be a ghost, take a Polaroid. They hating, this is claymation. Duck, get away, that's a vacation. Wanna get paid, who doesn't though? I'ma be a ghost, take a Polaroid picture. In the year 1600, farming was bad in the pottery area. So then the pottery area started factory based industries for potteries. It's whatever though, whatever crossed my mind. Haters got no watch, I ain't got the time. Vinny got more flow than a box of wine. Rare's a copper dime. The clay that we originally had in the ground, and we still do have in the ground, is um, very high in iron, high iron. So if you see it, it's that red clay that you see, quite thick, quite uh, coarse clay. Um, so that was traditionally used for pottery making in people's houses because the ground was very good for farming. Um, the clay that we use now is actually from Cornwall. Um, so we don't have the potteries in the Cornwall because predominantly we have the coal here. Okay. It took 10 tonnes of coal to fire one tonne of pottery. 1759 was the year that Josiah Wedgwood opens his own pottery at the Ivy House in Burslem. Get away, that's a vacation. Wanna get paid, who doesn't though? 1761, jo Josiah introduced creamware tableware, which was refined from the earthenware with a lead glaze. Don't get much sleep, two minutes to get a dream in It's all you need, it's crazy I've always worked in the pottery industry from the moment I left school Not always for Wedgwood, uh, but I've been here nearly 25 years It's just something I fell into and uh, learned loads and loads of different skills along the way Lately has been actually throwing pots, which I've only done for about years Steven, Steven, who don't need a reason, just wanna they can be with me and don't need to sleep and she but gonna keep me dreaming, I'm faded. In 1763, Josiah is the first to use an engine turn lathe in ceramics. Two years later, in 1765, Josiah received a royal patronage from Queen Charlotte, thus renaming his creamware to the Queen's Wear. It became a hit in the English society. We can paint a mind, or you can come a little close and put your hand in mine. This life of prison, it's time to set you free. Watch your moves. Uh, I followed my mum into the pottery industry. I actually worked with my mum for 10 years. I was her major judge from that time I came here. Okay. Um, the year 1768, Josiah perfects the black basalt from local clay stained with iron oxide. The following year, due to rising demand of popularity, more space is required to produce pottery. That same year, Wedgwood started one of the largest factories in Britain, called Etruria. I think so. It's had ups and downs because uh, it had a bad period of where the pottery was closing. So a lot of people did lose their jobs, but um, people are very proud of their heritage of, of what we make. We make from all over the world. Um, we've made for the White House, we've made for the Palace, we've made for everywhere. 1771 was the year that the first portrait medallions went on sale at Wedgwood. It's mainly different because of the jasper ware, which is only made here in the UK. Only the called jasper ware if it's made here on site. It's something that Josiah actually developed himself. Jasper stoneware, the famous 
stoneware of Wedgwood was first revealed in the year 1775, the same year that the United States of America gained their independence. In a box of wine, rare as a copper dime. I got an aqua mine, but it's beautiful, like Russell Crowe. Jasper Ware is the iconic blue and white, but it doesn't only come in blue and white colours, it yeah. comes in a variety of colours, but I think there's something like 22 different colours. Always get the people loose, fall back, strike back, just like... Particularly Jasper Ware is very much decorative, okay. um, and purely made for decorative purposes. Um, a lot of the bone china, the old patterns that you see were probably all had and done, so that in a sense is art. In 1777, to accommodate for the popularity of the pottery, the Grand Trunk Canal is completed to allow cheaper and more safer disbursement of the potteries. When Josiah Wedgwood built his factory in Stoke, he actually built it right next door to the canal. Uh, he built the factory before the canal and then he actually paid for some of the work on the canal. Um, so that was then used for all the transport. Seventeen eighty two was the year that Hosea invented a pyrometer to measure the temperature inside the kiln. He's the first to measure temperature above three hundred and sixty degrees Fahrenheit. The main market is China and Japan and then um, we also have a quite a big market in um, Australia and Norway, so Northern Europe and then Britain. Following the canal group, the Wedgwood pottery makers switched from doing it handmade to molds to allow for mass production of the potteries. A question you may be wondering, how are the potteries baked? They are baked in bottle kilns, protected by saggers. In one year we produce around about 800,000 objects, the company as a whole produces 15 million. With more technology being discovered, the pottery makers started using jiggers for plates and jollies for bowls. Absolutely everywhere. I even went to Cuba, turned it over, and it had a stuff made. Okay.